welcome back to Real Real Reviews. This is Cody Williams, and we are here to talk about the movie Mortal Kombat Legends Scorpion's Revenge. This movie is based on the classic arcade fighting games that originated in the 90s, the Mortal Kombat games. They are fighting games that are over the top with the graphic violence and stirred a lot of controversy at the time. I grew up alongside this series, going to the arcade, playing on the game cabinets, or whether playing the games on a home console. I'm a big fan of the series, and always will be. We've had some different cinematic adaptations of the game throughout time, whether it be on the big screen, internet web series, or a television series. Some adaptations have been successful and one in particular fell face first into the dirt. And that one was Mortal Kombat Annihilation. Boy, that movie is just truly terrible. I mean, bottom of the barrel terrible. Starting from last year, I heard there were going to be two upcoming Mortal Kombat movies. One in particular being a live action reboot releasing next year in 2021. And the other being an animated movie releasing this year. This movie I'm about to talk about is the animated movie that just released, Mortal Kombat Legends Scorpion's Revenge. It is an animated in the style of Japanese anime, and it is truly amazing to watch from beginning to end. The movie mainly follows the backstory of Hanzo Asashi, a member of the Shirai Ryu clan. He and his family, and also his clan, is destroyed by Bihan, who many know as Sub-Zero, and the rest of the Lin Kuei clan. Right after Hanzo dies, his spirit lies in the nether realm, suffering as a prisoner for eternity. The sorcerer, Quan Chi, resurrects him to help him exact his revenge against Sub-Zero in the fighting competition that happens every so often, Mortal Kombat. Hanzo Asashi now a vengeful spirit in the mortal world, takes on the new alias, Scorpion. After finally seeing this movie, I was highly impressed. It kept the main story that was established from the games, the animation was visually stunning, and it did If you are a big time fan of the Mortal Kombat games, then you will highly enjoy this movie. I guarantee it. Not only does this movie focus on Scorpion, but it has close to every combatant from the many games. Some are more obvious and some more subtle in the background that can only be seen very briefly. It was fun to see how many fighters I recognized and it was like a game of Where's Waldo trying to pinpoint finding them. You could say that this movie is a flawless victory. The screenplay and script are just perfect, and I have no complaints about them whatsoever. My only gripe with this movie is that it felt too short for my taste. I really didn't want it to end. I enjoy this movie so much, I'm itching for a sequel. I feel like I'm having withdrawals. This is easily the best cinematic adaptation of Mortal Kombat. If you consider yourself a fan of the games, I implore you to watch this movie. I give this movie an A minus. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel to keep up with my real reviews.